Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and the greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats, the channel donations, and the Patreon family on everything I love. We working. Right now I'm on my website. Make sure you give them a visit. Link in the description. Shout out to my writer, Bakari. And we got some new content. A lot of stuff to talk about. But you've seen the title of this video. And Sergey Kovalev and his team are in talks with Sullivan Barrera's team to possibly make a fight this year in 2017, which I I want to talk about. And I, I love this idea, right? I love this idea of this particular fight. Now, obviously, I have a common mutual opponent, which is Andre SOG Ward, who beat both of them, knocked down Sullivan Barrera, his first fight at the official light heavyweight knocked him down dominated i was at that fight i was at both of the ward kovalev fights and ward i had him winning the first one but it was a lot tighter second one he was able to do road work made some adjustments gave different looks and he ended up stopping kovalev who had never been stopped and his only other loss was to ward which was a disputed one so he cleaned that up nicely now i got to talk about this this obviously the video is not about Ward particularly, but here on my channel, I give credit where credit's due. And that's how you know the mark of a good fighter like Andre Ward, who doesn't get all the credit because two other guys that he's beaten, one of them he's beaten twice, back to back, right? Like Drake said, back to back. And they could potentially fight. And if you're anything like me as a boxing fan, that fight would excite you. You're, you're down for that. That's a good fight. So that's how you know that Andre Ward is quality because he beat both of them. And yet if they fight each other, then it would go on to be a, a big fight. You know what I'm saying? Just like Floyd Mayweather beat Canelo and he beat Miguel Cotto. And later on, they fought each other in what was called a super fight for that particular year. So the fact that Floyd Mayweather beat Cotto, beat Canelo, and then they later fought Cotto Canelo, and it was considered a big fight and people, you know what I mean? A lot of interest in the boxing world. It goes to show you something about the person who actually conquered both of them. Same thing here with Andre Ward. He beat Sullivan Barrera at light heavyweight. His very first fight there at the full light heavyweight, not a Paul Smith catchweight. I was at all of those fights. And then he went on to beat Sergey Kovalev. He, he, he said he needed one or two tune-up fights per his agreement with HBO multi-fight deal. And now, they're in talks, and I like that fight. I think it's a very good fight for Sullivan Brer and also Kovalev. Now, Kovalev, if you guys know your boxing history, Kovalev was the IBF champion, and his number one mandatory was Sullivan Brer. Andre Ward stepped up to the plate and eliminated Sullivan Brer by beating him. But at that point, he was actually a mandatory for Kovalev, and he, he lost his positioning by losing to Ward. Because obviously you, you took a loss, so you know what I mean your rankings affected by that. But Ward basically did Kovalev a favor, or he would have had to fight Sullivan Barrera himself. Now some things have changed. Kovalev just got stopped. People don't know where his confidence is at. He has two back-to-back -back losses, so he no longer has a perfect career. Sullivan Barrera has one loss to Andre Ward, as I mentioned. But he's done some things in there at light heavyweight to work himself back towards a title shot. He beat Shabransky, Vacheslav Shabransky, who's with Golden Boy, who's undefeated, considered a big puncher, things like that. He beat him, knocked him down. He got knocked down, but he knocked Shabransky down, I think, three times, right? Three times. Went on to stop him and derail his plans. Shabransky would later spar with Canelo for the Chavez Jr. fight. And then after, he just recently beat Joe Smith Jr., which... I consider to be a, that was going to be a real good fight, you know what I mean? And Joe Smith Jr. got his jaw broken in the fight, didn't necessarily put up the performance that some people thought, even though he did knock down Sullivan Barrera. He's a big puncher. So, um, 
if Kovalev meets Barrera, the timing makes this very, very interesting. Like, Kovalev, when he was undefeated, he was a hard man to beat. Now, I don't know. You know what I mean? Boxing is all about timing. Sometimes it's when you get a guy. I, I really don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like like I said, if, if, if Kovalev was undefeated, he was very hard to beat. But now back-to-back losses after you talked all that shit in the rematch and made a million memes about Andre Ward now that that makes this fight still very interesting because it's a dangerous fight for Kovalev as far as I'm concerned it's a dangerous fight for both but definitely Kovalev because they're big punchers now Sullivan Brer said I'm in a moment in my career where I'm interested in big fights I would love to face Kovalev a victory over him would be important not only in the personal prize section but also because of the possibility that it would open me up to continue growing in the sport. I just hope the negotiations will come to fruition. And that's from Sullivan, Sully Barrera. He said, we are in negotiations with main events to possibly face Kovalev this November at Madison Square Garden. I am preparing for whoever, Kovalev or Donna Stevenson. I trust the work of my manager, Luis Molina, and we hope that something good will happen in my career in the coming months. So... I mean, I'm pulling for this. I, I think, it, like I said, it's a good fight. It's not, by far, it's not a give me. I'm not saying like Solomon Brera beats Kovalev, but the timing, the timepiece is very interesting to me because, I mean, no matter who Kovalev fights next, I'm going to watch it because I, I want to see how he looks. I want to see if he looks like the same crusher. Different people bounce back different. That's just the best way to put it. Pacquiao took some early career law. See, and that's the thing. Pacquiao took early knockout losses in his career. So it was when his body was young, his mind was young. You know what I mean? So he just chalked it up as maturity. Oh, I lost to Rustico Toracampo. You know what I'm saying? And he later went on to do good things. But Kovalev is probably 30-something, right? So I don't know. The whole aura of invincibility is not necessarily there because he, he just got stopped by Andre Ward. So very interesting fight. I support it 100%. I think it's a good fight. I think either guy could really win. I mean, Sullivan Barrera in his last couple of fights, he's been dropped. He got dropped by Andre Ward. He got dropped by Shabransky. He got dropped by um, Joe Smith Jr. And he fought somebody else in between there on HBO. I don't think he got dropped in that fight, but I don't even know who the person was. Like this, That's how low level it was in terms of names in the division. But... Very good light heavyweight fight. 2017 to me has been a phenomenal year. And I hope they get this done. I think they should be able to get it done if both parties are like um, realistic. I believe Sullivan Barrera is still with main events. Kovalev is with main events still. So they're both in-house. They're both main events fighters. So the negotiations should be fairly smooth. It's not like um, putting Terrence Crawford in there with Keith Thurman or Errol Spence Jr. where you have two Al Heyman fighters and Bob Arum, who hasn't always had a peachy, keen relationship with Al Heyman, trying to put it together. So since they're both with main events, to my knowledge, um, this fight should be able, pretty easy to make if the guys are res- like really um, reasonable with their purses and whatnot. Very good light heavyweight fight. I, I literally, as a boxing fan, I don't have any complaints for 2017. We had boxing versus MMA, the boxer won. So that's obviously, it would have been bad if the, the UFC fighter came over to boxing and, and beat his ass. Um, we have Canelo Triple G and Kel Brook, Errol Spence, Joshua Klitschko, Wilder Ortiz looks like it's going down, which I'll do a video about that. I mean, this is just great stuff. If we can get Sullivan Barrera, Kovalev in there. That's a, that's a good light heavyweight fight. And I'm, if you notice me, I'm about consistency and you rarely, if ever, hear me disapprove of a fight that, that helped shape the division. You know what I mean? Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, or Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? I might have my personal opinions on certain matches and stuff like that, but Kovalev, Barrera, fights like this still still help us with the who's who of the division. Like, obviously, Andre Ward's the man. Uh, Donna Stevenson still a champion. You got some up and coming threats like Arthur Better Beev, things like that. But this to me is a meaningful fight 
that'll help establish who you know what I mean who's who who's behind Ward who's behind the champions like just in the, in the in the race I guess you could say but I'll keep you guys posted if it comes off good fight interesting fight drop your fight predictions make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off